We are in a climate emergency. The IPCC Special Report warns that all sectors must eliminate their reliance on fossil fuels in order to limit global warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius. The building and construction sector has a vital role to play as it's responsible for 39% of global carbon emissions. The majority of these emissions occur when a building is in operation, from energy used to heat, cool and power them, but a significant amount also comes from embodied carbon, emissions as a result of material manufacturing and construction processes, building maintenance and renovation, and when buildings are demolished. In the next 30 years, global building stock is expected to almost double, so we must act now to reduce upfront carbon, the emissions generated before new buildings are used. Our vision is for all buildings and infrastructure to be net zero emissions across their entire life cycle by 2050. This means that by 2030, along with zero operating emissions, new buildings and infrastructure must have at least 40% less embodied carbon with significant upfront carbon reduction. And by 2050, new buildings and infrastructure must have 100% net zero embodied carbon. Achieving this vision will require global collaboration across sectors and leadership on the following actions. Roadmaps to educate, communicate and innovate towards decarbonisation solutions. Ambitious public procurement policies and embodied carbon reduction targets from governments and cities. Innovative financial products and services to trigger market demand. Clean and lean construction processes. Products produced by renewable energy. Designers specifying low carbon products and design solutions. Buildings designed to maximize reuse, refurbishment and deconstruction. The market transformation needed requires a radical change in the way we design, build, operate and deconstruct our buildings to conserve the world's precious resources. To find out more and how you can take action, visit our website.